right. I like to start every webinar with my Matthew McConaughey impression. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Lab Code agents. We are live with the guy who has the best back end in the business, <laughs> Owen Nomsal. Firepoint has the best back end in the business. Gabe Cordova is with us, president of Firepoint. What I love about Gabe is not only is he president of an amazing platform for agents, but he's also an agent. And so whenever you have someone who's creating tech for agents and they are there with us every day, you know that it's going to kick ass. So today we're talking about taking the F you. <laughs> so whenever Gabe says F you to me, I know he's not being mean. He's telling me to go follow my leads. Yes. Uh, Gabe, Gabe's team did 800 transactions. Was it last year? It was last year I was still doing real estate full-time before I came over into Firepoint. So it was a couple okay. years ago uh, before I stepped out. But yeah, we did about 814, you know, so approximately. 814. And so guys, if you're looking at the post right now, you'll see that Lab Code agents and Firepoint have come together to create something even better with Firepoint where we are going to be giving you some great specials, including exclusive drip campaigns that Tristan and myself are using for Facebook leads and realtor.com slash Zillow leads. Um, so go check out that link, firepoint.net slash lab coat and see all the goods. And we're going to be loading it up with awesome campaigns periodically. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's get started, Gabe. Thank you. I'm going to throw something in there real quick uh, on those campaigns, just so you guys know too, because I know you guys are big Ylopo users, Nick. Uh, yeah. you're interested in both. Uh, we're actually working on building in, I don't even know, there's like a dozen or more Ylopo specific campaigns and everything as well. So we're talking drip email, text campaigns, all this stuff. So whether you're Labco and Ylopo or just one or the other, we can get all these campaigns in the systems for you. So and we so really- since you guys have Well, since you guys have integrated really well with Ylopo, we're gonna we'll, we'll build out some Ylopo campaigns for you too. So um, uh, we can get more into what you're gonna get if you decide to sign up for Firepoint under that account. But let's just get into the nitty gritty first yeah. about taking the FU out of follow up. <laughs> And what, and what Gabe's team did to get to 814 transactions in Idaho, right? You're in Idaho? Idaho. Yep. In Boise. Idaho. Boise. Idaho. Boise. Well, I mean, so, I mean, so let me tell you, first of all, F you, like, would none of us like doing follow up? Let's, you let's just be, it's let's be honest with each other. F you. <laughs> F you. You forgot your F you. Where's your F you? I, it really, it kind of just, it got, it got frustrating as, 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 as a team lead, always looking at these leads in the generation, because we know, we know the fortune is in the follow-up, the F you, right? And it's the first thing as agents that we drop the ball on. This is not picking on agents. I was right there too. We all have the best of intentions, but we drop the ball uh, on the follow-up, on the F you. All, all the time, man, all the time. And it's, it's daunting. I think agents um, feel like there's always like this monkey on their back. There's always this like this weight on their shoulders. Like, Oh, I've got to follow up with all these leads. I know I've got people I need to be following up with. I need to get my prospecting done. I need to do all that. Um, and I just, I think there are better ways to do it. Well, I don't think I know there are better ways to do it. Um, we need to just take the, the, just take the app you out of follow up. The things that just make it like, man, I don't want to freaking do this. Uh, and just get rid of that. If we start making it easier, uh, for our team members, for our agents, ourselves to do the follow-up, we know we're going to make more money. It's all that that working smarter, uh, not harder. So I think there are three things that I'd love to highlight on this. And and guys, I think everybody should have a Q and A uh, button down below. If you have questions as I'm going through this, I tend to talk fast. I'll go deeper on any of these, and I'm going to show you real examples how these are working as we go through them. Yeah, and by the way, there's some people watching on Zoom. Uh, so feel free to ask your questions via Zoom. Some people are watching on, um, on Facebook, so feel free to ask questions there. And eventually when you start watching on YouTube, because um, we're going to upload this to YouTube, feel free to ask questions in the YouTube comments and we'll be sure to get to those as well. So yeah. take it away, Gabe. And we're going to give them your personal cell phone number so they can text you all hours. And later. then they can call me, you know. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. So I just want to jump in. And again, I want to make this easy. So the first one I know, Nick, you've heard me chat about this. You've heard uh, Helix and talk about it. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen if that's okay, actually. 
Yeah, I love this. This is is this the three uh, the is this the three? Uh, I'm gonna start with yeah, rule of three. Oh, well, actually, this is the landing page. Just so if you guys need it too, if you guys want to learn more about we'll show that, we'll show that in a little bit for sure. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right, so what I want to talk about is, is rule of three. So the first thing I want to talk about, guys, is the rule of three. So initial fu, initial follow up, is most important, right? Speed to lead. You guys have got to get on these inquiries when they're coming, and this is nothing new. You have heard it a million times but I guarantee if I jump into your databases, you're not doing it. So I jumped into our, our team database uh, here in Boise. So everything I'm showing you is real life examples in a real database, um, but I just wanna show you. So rule of three, what I'm talking about is when a new lead comes in guys. So I'm just gonna show you this, Becky Johnson came in and I also want you to, I don't want, I pulled up this one in particular guys, no excuses. I know agents all the time are saying, hey, I can't call or reach out to a lead after 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. And I call BS, right? To me, you need to figure out what's comfortable for you. But if somebody's registering on the website, that means they're thinking real estate. I always want to talk to somebody and work on my follow-up and conversion when they're thinking real estate. It's an easier conversation. It's a more welcoming conversation. So I'm showing you two things at, at once here. This lead came in at 9.28 p.m. All right, this happens to be a Wailopo one. Came in, they looked at this property three times. Uh, again, speed to lead, this agent called within four minutes. Um, I'd like to get that down even faster if possible, but I'm not gonna complain about four minutes. If I'm talking real world, we know it doesn't happen. But 9 p.m., you can see that he called. I always say record your calls, guys. Listen to what you're saying. But rule of three, first step is going to be call immediately. You can see this is only an eight second call. You're not gonna be able to hear the audio if I play it, but he literally, as soon as the voicemail picked up, he listened to see if it said Becky or not, but hung up, all right? At 9.35 p.m., and I know you guys are thinking, and you can chime in if you want, it's too late, they're gonna get pissed. Guys, you hope for that. If you're getting people that are mad because you're calling too late, you're doing the right thing. Then you can take a step back. It's not gonna happen, right? We don't know when we're calling too much. If we're not getting told to stop calling, stop emailing, or I'm calling too late, guys, you're not calling enough, you're not calling uh, fast enough, and you're not calling late enough. And by the way, Gabe, I might add, if people aren't responding to you and they're not saying anything, that means you need to keep going. Keep going. I'm going to show you some of that too. And I'm going to show you tips how to make that happen. That's going to be my second point. So, okay. Oh, so, sorry, 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 sorry. You're good. Stay with me, Nick. Come on. All right, so at 935, we're calling immediately, hanging up. Guys, you need to double dial. Just call immediate. Call right back. You can see it's in the same minute. This agent hung up, called right back. Again, we're not leaving a voicemail. What I'm hoping here, guys, is when you get a, a you see an unknown number and you blow it off, which most of us do, that's okay. All right? But call right back. If you think about when you get a call from the same unknown number back to back, typically it's important. Maybe something's wrong. Something's going on. It definitely piques your interest. That's the intent of this is to pique the interest. Uh, you'll actually be surprised how many people do answer on this, but double dial the key to this is immediate. It's not two minutes later, three minutes later, four minutes. You're right there. Just do it twice. All right. So that's step one of the rule of three. Step two is send a text. Do you know my text, right, Nick? Or do you? Do I know your text? Do you know my text? What is my text that I send when you're doing the rule of three when they don't answer? You do this double dial. What is my text? Do you know it? Three easy words. Three simple words. Is this Becky? Is this Becky? And again, this is right after the call. You can see it's at 9.36 p.m. I knew, okay. it was either, I knew it was either I love you or this is Becky. <laughs> Not what I send you. What do I send leads that don't answer? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Is this you, Becky? You were confused. Sorry. Is My this bad. Becky? Guys, I want you to replay this. You get a call from another number. You blow it off. They call you right back. I just told you it piques your interest a little bit. All right? Now they call you by name. Now you're thinking, shoot, something's wrong. Wait, this is lab code. I can say shit. Shit, something's wrong. <laughs> Right? I kid you guys, and again, 9.36 p.m. You're going to get this text back. I'm, this is a real account. At 9.36, she responded, who is this? What's, guys, conversion changes and drastically goes up when you change who is initiating who. Becky just gave this agent permission to introduce himself. What most agents are doing right here is leaving this long, horrible message. Hey, this is Gabe Cordova at Core Group EXP. Uh, you register on my website. I want to make sure everything's okay and that you know it updates every 50 minutes. We throw up all over them. They didn't give us permission, right? This right here gives you permission to introduce yourself. All right, so who is this? Yeah, who is this? And, a lot of, and I'll tell you what, normally it's four words. Yes, who is this? Right. right. So, so not only do the dynamics of lead conversion change right here, 
because they gave us permission. We verified we have the right person. Everything just went through the roof, right? We got them while they were thinking real estate. Now you can start going, right? He just said, Becky, this is Scott with a core home search here in Idaho. Thanks for checking out the homes on the website. Insert whatever you think here, but keep it short and focus on the service. This response, not yet, I'll let you know, is great. I'm fine with that, or I'm just looking. I've accomplished something here. I've made contact. Well, not yet, I'll let you know. Not, let, not yet, I'll let you know is actually a great answer. Because yeah, know, that's fantastic, right? Person wants to buy a house. Absolutely. So we, we've got, we verified. They're, they're not saying no. They're not saying go away. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Um, I'll be in touch. It goes on. Thank you. Again, the guys, this is at 9.43 p.m. So if you're saying you can't reach out to leads that are coming in after X time, I mean, everybody's going to have their line. Mine, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And I still think if you're going to get the lead, shoot a text. Um, I'm probably not going to do the double dial after that. I've seen people make it work. Go for it. But man, if you're not calling leads at least up to 10 p.m., you are missing massive opportunities. Because Becky is not just on your, your site. She's on multiple places. Make connection. All right, and no, we're not gonna go through this whole thing. So um, once we make connection on that, he said to let know, rule three, we've already dialed, we've text, now send them an email. All right, send an email through here. This is Ylopo doing their thing. Um, I'm not gonna go through that whole AI text, but if you guys haven't checked out Ylopo and their new AI texting, it's insane. And it's all it's amazing. Uh, all amazing and integrated. Um, but anyway, get that going. But I would send the step three is send an email and it needs to be a video email. All right, it's not gonna wake them up, it's not gonna do anything because I need you to start sending them listings. All right, day one, double dial, text, and I want you to send them a video email, but it has purpose, all right? You're gonna hear me talking about focus on the service, not the sale. Before yeah. I set this email, I'm gonna set them up on a safe search. It's gonna be very broad. Unless they tell me specifically what they're looking for, I'm gonna look at whatever home they initially looked at when it came in. So I'm just gonna click on the searching section here. Day one, you're just gonna see one, one or two properties, whatever they look at. So I can see they looked in the Caldwell area uh, at 329. So I'm gonna set up a safe search probably from 200 to $500,000, and I'm gonna add the surrounding areas. And I know everybody who, who, who's watching that sells properties says, nope, too big of a price range, too big an area. She looked, send her this. No, don't do that. Unless the lead specifically tells you what they're looking for on day one, you're normally only going to have a couple properties to go off of. Fair? Well, you know what I love about, by the way, making a making more of a broad search uh -huh. is because <clears throat> it will give them a reason to reach out to you. I'm glad you said that because oh, on the rule of three, step not, three is that was email. not that was not planned. That it was not that, planned. Just that smart, focus yeah. on the service. And remember, I said earlier the great thing about that text is it changes the dynamics. Get them to engage you. My step three, which is the video email, because I've already called and text. I love bomb bomb. If you guys haven't used bomb bomb, but this is what day one's uh, email is going to look if I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not going to send it, but I'll record it so you guys can see it. Right. I love bomb bomb. Hey, Becky, Gabe Cordova here. Um, thanks again for visiting on the website, chatting with you briefly. I uh, wanted to let you know, I'm going to send you some listings. Check your inbox. Um, I'm not exactly sure what price range and what area you're looking for. So please let me know how I can adjust that so it meets your needs. Again, check your inbox. Uh, you should have a list of a whole bunch of listings. Let me know how I can make corrections so it meets your needs. Thanks, and I hope to hear from you soon. It's about 30 way, seconds. I just want to say, like... The bomb bomb integration on FirePoint is probably one of the best I've seen. Is it bomb? Is it bomb? Yeah, it's the bomb. <laughs> the bomb. It's the bomb bomb. No, it's but it is. Bomb. It's like it's so. It's like so. Gmail has a great one, obviously too. But this is such a good integration with a CRM. It's just seamless. It, it's easy, and you get a four hundred percent higher open rate because it converts it to this uh, GIF or GIF, whatever, whatever team you're on. Yeah. Um, but guys, this that script and you guys can replay it and back it up if you're watching this, is always between 20 and 30 seconds. But what I did is exactly what Nick brought up, is leave it broad at the beginning, especially if they don't tell you what they're looking for, because I asked her to correct me. Hey, I don't know what you're looking for. I'm not gonna make an assumption because you clicked on three homes that that's the price range in the area. I want this lead to reach back out and say, hey Gabe, thanks for sending those listings, but I'm only in this price range, or I'm only in this area because now I get to respond to her providing service, not sales, saying, hey, perfect, Becky, thanks for letting me know I've made those adjustments, I'll now only send you X or X and Y. It's a huge difference, and as an industry, do we wanna focus on sales or on service, right? Who want, they wanna work with, we're gonna provide them you know, a sharp salesperson as a buyer's agent or a great service and that's friendly, right? We have different personalities for buyers and sellers. So rule of three, guys, day one. 
Double dial call, all right, that's step one. Step two is a text, keep it short if they don't answer. Is this and use their name? Short, 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 and it's easier for you. Step three is send an email after you've created a safe search for them because the number one thing, right, I have a website company, the number one thing that's linking people back to the site are those safe searches, all right? You need to send them pretty pictures of pretty homes to get them off of Zillow, realtor.com, your competitors' websites. You have to give them what they're looking for. That's what's going to bring them back to your website. <clears throat> so for sure. focus one, rule of three. That's what it is. Call, call, text, and then send a video email. Emphasis on video, guys. 400% higher open rate, 70% less unsubscribe. What, do you, what, are your, what about video text? You can do video text as well. If I wanted to do a video text, you can do it. But I want to, I always say uh, land, air, and sea, even though it's not. Call, text, and email. I want to hit all three right? Do gotcha. I have the right phone number? I want to talk to them if, if at all possible. That's why I call immediately. You build more rapport talking to somebody than in, short of meeting them in person, but that's not going to happen at 9.43 PM. So we can send a text. Um, so I've hit them now with text. If I wanted to send a, um, a video text, I can do the same thing, especially with the FirePoint. I've got my bomb bomb integration, the exact same thing. Okay. Well, the one I just did, I can send that in there and I can now text this to them if I want to. But day one, Nick, hit all three, uh, call, text and email because I'm verifying what, what methods do I have that are accurate? Because it's going to tell you, is it um, up to date? Is it not? And maybe they don't want to be on their phone. They're texting, you know, but maybe they're sitting at their laptop. I want to hit them when they're thinking real estate on all three. I want the trifecta. Make sense? I got it, man. I love it. Yep. Cool. Okay. So that's uh, the, the three things I want to focus on. Number one is the rule three. Number two, is, uh, you know, and I just said it, focus on the service, not the sale in your follow-up, right? If I want to take the F you out of follow-up. We don't want to be salesy. We get tired and I'm seeing the same thing from agents over and over and over. And I'm going to give you another example by what I mean by that. Here's an example. So we see, we can see in our CRMs and I don't, hey, I just want to interrupt for one yeah. second. I want to say, you, you said something really great about like focus on the service, not the sale. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's differentiate what that means, right? So like if you're focusing on the service, your, your, your main goal is to make sure that you are getting that person set up on the right search criteria so they're getting the homes in their inbox that they want to look at. It's not, when can you see this house, you know? Yep. That's yep. you trying to get a sale. You trying to focus on the service is first making sure that their criteria is exactly how they want it. And then when they start engaging, then you can focus on getting them out and looking at houses. Absolutely. I, I think that's key. And I, th I thought I had one right here that I was wanted to pull it up. Um, come on, where are you at? Um, I think this is it. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I that's exactly Gosh, dang it. Where's that? Dang it. I thought it was, so folks on the service. So one thing that I did, and I thought this was that lead is we do the same phone calls or I just touching base. Are there any homes you want to see? Blah, blah, blah. Take it to the next level. Go in, look and see what they're looking at. And again, I'm using FirePoint because that's obviously what I have access to. But if you come in and you see that they're looking at a home or they look at something multiple times, like get an idea what they're looking at or did they say they viewed this one twice. You can grab this MLS number and text it to them and say, hey, Nick, I came across this great listing and I swear this was the one that I had. Um, well, that's actually, a, I, love that, I love that technique because when, you're, when you notice that somebody is looking at a house, you know, three, four, four or five times, and then you send it to them it's, and you're like, you know what, I just noticed this listing, it might be perfect for you. Um, then, they're, then instantly they're like, wow, this guy's really in tune with, with homes that I like. Right, so this is it, all right. So this guy was trying to follow up with this lead, not getting a lot of correspondence and everything. And so what he did is he went in there and found something very similar to what they're looking at that just had a price drop. So he texts her, hey Deb, I came across a five bedroom, two and a half bath single level with an upstairs bonus room that just got a price drop to 260. Would you be interested in something like that? Not, when would you like to go see it? I have time tomorrow. I think when you say that before earning that right, you're focusing yeah. on you, not them, right? You're focusing on the sale. You're trying to get them outside. Would you be interested in something like that? It's focusing on what is their interest. And all of a sudden she responds. What part of town? Somebody who's been dead that we're doing follow-up. He focused on them, not him. Oh, a part of town. Call the interior. So, so that sounds great, but I don't want to live uh, clear out there. Well, now we're getting location. As soon as you start getting somebody talking location, now we're talking about them. So when I say focus on the service, not the sale, find something unique to them. Don't have to tell them that you know they saved it as a favorite or they looked at it four no. times. But you just 
you don't want to say, hey, I noticed that you looked at this house 10 times. Yep. You don't say that. Yep. Here's another one that we use in text and, and I'm going to show you uh, in text and in email. When you've got somebody that you see they're logging on all the time, um, and I'm going to open this in a new tab, but they're not responding to you, I like to make people feel bad. Yep, I'm an ass. I like to make people feel bad. You've heard Helixon say this too. We've been doing this for like 10 years. Very short, and you can do this again, email or text, and this is focusing on the service, not the sale. Hey, Tom, again, real leads, guys. I'm not, I'm not just making up leads here. These in a real database. I hope I haven't dropped the ball in your home search. Is there something that I should be doing that I'm not, right? That's now focusing on the level of service that I'm providing to them. Please let me know. Um, again, somebody not uh, well, being super responsive. He can said, I tell you what I love about, about that one? Yeah. What I love about that one is <clears throat> you're blaming yourself, mm -hmm. right? You're flipping the switch. But you're also making them feel like, oh no, I don't want him to. Yep. I don't want him to feel bad, right? Yep. That, that's great. Uh, Make them feel bad because they respond. You'll start seeing like, oh, you know what? No, it's not you. We're just we're not sure if we're ready to leave our current home, or oh, we're not relocating from Michigan yet to Boise. Like the you best one is the best one. And this is how we that same lead. They respond. Um, uh, oh shoot, let me pull back down. Let's say thanks, Scott. No, not a problem. Would you raise the top end of our home search? He just wasn't seeing what he wanted. There you go. He wasn't responding because he wasn't seeing what he wanted. So then the correspondence goes back and forth um, on what's going on, um, and then all of a sudden, not only did we find out what he's looking for, but when I just now realized this, then he responds, uh, "Are you interested in uh, free consultation with one of my lenders?" No loan needed in that price range. Now I got a cash buyer. There you go. I'm just going to add this for this agent because he should have a cash buyer. And by the way, I want to add like one of my favorite scripts for um, for asking if someone's pre-approved. Yeah. So sure. <clears throat> what I find works really well is, um, do you have a friend or family member in, in the mortgage business or would you like me to refer you to one of my trusted lender partners? And the reason why I use that script is because for some reason the population thinks that when an agent refers some, them to a, to a, a lender, they're getting some sort of kickback. Yep. Uh, so right off the bat, you're debunking that you're asking if they know somebody who could help them. Um, and you can also just flat out ask them, are you going to be using, um, a mortgage for this or is it a cash sale? And, um, another great tip that to find out if the person has a home to sell, because we're using Y Lopo at a high level too. And we're finding that 30% of our incoming leads own a home. Don't ask them, do you own a home? Because if you ask them if they own a home and they don't, it's going to make them feel bad. Instead, ask them, are you currently renting? Because if they're not renting, they'll go, no, I own a house. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? So honestly, like that, that is money right there. And anybody watching this, whether it's a replay or live, wait, like repeat that script right there because that is money. All right. So if you want to find out if somebody owns a home, don't ask them if they own a home. Because if they don't, it's going to make them feel less than, mm -hmm. right? It's going to make them feel like they, you know, they don't own one. It's, it's, it's embarrassing to them. No, I don't, right? But right. if you say, are you currently renting? They're going to be like, renting, right? No, I'm a homeowner, right? Yep. Like they, oh, get, yeah. they get excited about it. Yep. So yep. raise it to them then. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, sweet. Okay. So, uh, third one, cause I know we want, we try to keep these fairly short here for a bit. We did a rule, rule three focus on focusing on the service, not the sale, meaning send them something of value that they're interested in, not your schedule guys, not your schedule. Get over showing them, uh, your schedule. Oh, sorry. My reminder to take my, take my vitamins. Um, <laughs> I literally, it was a, if I'm being honest, it was my reminder to take my ADD medication. <laughs> I forget to take it because I get going on this stuff. Um, anyway, so step two, focus on the service, not the sale. Send them properties that are in their area, asking them if that's what they like, not if they want to go see it, or have you dropped the ball? Have you let them down? If they're not responding, you get great response. Third thing, again, we're talking about taking the FU out of follow-up is, guys, don't live and die by tasks. Now, before any team leads watching this, send me hate mail through Facebook. Yes, I think we should have tasks. I think we need to have tasks. When I have a great conversation with a new prospect and I want to follow up with them on a day because that way we said, yes, it's a task. It goes on my calendar. It goes in my, in my CRM. That's fantastic. But all of our unknowns, all these people that we're still trying to get to bubble up, you can kill yourself with tasks. All right. And what I want to talk to you about then is base your follow-up, base your FU on lead activity 
not tasks. All right. What I'm, what I mean by that is it's so much easier to talk to somebody um, thinking real estate. So in FirePoint and your CRM probably has something similar, but filter by something like this. We use Wailopo as well. We'll literally let you sort by the priority re-engagements. Meaning I can literally click if I filter by this and see what was the last engagement. So it's telling me that at uh, 958, they looked at this property three times. At 742 last night, they looked at this one uh, three times. When, and, then, and then when was my last follow-up? So I can see it was the 16th of May, 16th of May, 23rd. There's been no follow-up, no phone call you know, for, for a week. Do I need to do it? I can quickly toggle through because I've resorted these and the most recent people that done something that Wailopo says, hey, here's a priority action. Here's a priority lead, All right? You don't have, uh, if you don't have Wailopo, that's fantastic. Resort your database something by property views, right? Guys, reach out to the low hanging fruit. Who is thinking real estate? Who is doing action items like clicking on properties, saving favorites? So now I've reorganized this saying, all right, show me at the top in the last seven days, who's clicked on the most properties? So now I can see, all right, this one's clicked on the most properties. When was my last action? Hey, it was this morning. Cool. I'm good. I'm going to go to the next one. Did I miss anything? Here's the next person. It was a couple days ago. This is Austin. Um, I can see that he's on it. What you're going to start finding is without very many clicks, you'll start finding people who haven't followed, you haven't followed up with. And you'll start seeing it pushing back. Uh, obviously, you don't recognize sarcasm. That must be a thing. <laughs> what happened there? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I already clicked the button. Hold on, let me go back. People let's, are, let's, people, let's see what happened. People get, people get a little feisty. Uh, they do get, but here's the thing, guys, if you're not getting some feisty people kicking back saying you're reaching out too much, we said that earlier, you honestly aren't reaching out enough. Oh, this is a past sure. client. So they must be actually having real fun because they've already purchased a home uh, oh, and good. buying another one. So, yeah. so we're going good there. Um, so anyway, but when you start seeing things, like when you start seeing these, uh, um, the last uh, touch point from this agent was back in April, that's too long ago right? And there was no response. So start filtering by activity, see what's going on. And there's multiple yeah. ways of doing it. like another one of my favorites, guys, especially if you don't have Wailopo is I'm just going to show you the, the sorts here. Is, well, so one of the things while you're looking for that, you know, one of the things that because my team, you know, is in is prospecting every day, Monday through Friday, from nine to 12. And even though we have all the artificial intelligence, and we have all the automation, and we have all the lead alerts and all of those shiny objects. You just you still have to be on the phones. You still have to be sending the text. You still got to be doing the, the emails. You still got to be you know changing up the searches and sending the push notifications. You have to be doing all of these things um, manually, <clears throat> or else it's not going to pay off. So like like I said, even though that we've got all the shiny objects you can ask for, you have to hit the phones and you have to you have to dial and call these people. You do. I agree 100. percent We all have the best of intentions, but we're also out there working, right? So you may get this new leader. You may get somebody raising their hand or doing something while you're with clients and you want to get back to them but you forget. And just quickly, if you made best practice every morning, come in, filter your database by the last login, by the most property views, and if you have Wailopo, by the most uh, recent uh, Wailopo priorities. If you do it every day, this is literally a five minute exercise because every day you're only gonna have to click a few buttons until you get to the people that you saw the previous day. So I can click, I just did last login. I can see this person was just on a few seconds ago. So actually currently probably online and I can see when the last touch, okay, May 6th, did I do anything? Perfect. Next. It's just, you can quickly start identifying when was the last time I touched this person that's either currently on my site, that's currently like this one, July 25th, 2018. There's not been anything done with this person. So now I, and I'm only three clicks in. So now I need to look. I can see it's in a pond because this lead's not owned. Somebody needs to claim it. Look at this. May 23rd, looked at a property, right? May 22nd, 21st, 18th. Why the heck is this one not being touched, right? So I need to get yeah, in. So, I mean, those, those are serious hand raisers. Yep. And, you know, when, when you're making your calls or sending your texts or doing your follow-ups, you know, you got to see who's been to your site, you know, within the last, you know, the, the, la the last, uh, we go out, if anyone's been to the site within the last seven to 10 days, like those are the people uh -huh. who are here. This. Yep. Yeah. You have to stay on them and it's just easy. So, but what it, what allows you to do and what I want to just drive home is if you get in these habits, these three habits of every new lead, it's the rule of three. You focus on your follow-up. You focus on the service, not the sale. Provide something of value to them, right? Not just the same crap to everybody that you're doing. It's not one size fits all. And then you base your follow-up on lead activity 
Now you're actually only following up with people who are thinking, not only, I should say, but a majority of your time is spent following up with people who are thinking and doing real estate actions. You stop getting the people who are upset, I'm no longer in the market, because they're currently doing things, right? Think about it. People who are serious about buying a house, yes, people like to look at, at home. So of course you're gonna get people who are looky loose. For the most part, people who are interested in buying a home don't visit your website every day. I mean, no, I'm sorry. People who are interested in buying a home don't. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what I meant is people who aren't interested in buying a home don't visit your website every day. That's what I meant. Yep, absolutely. It, they're not going to waste their time on your website every day looking at multiple properties if they're really not interested in, in buying something. Yeah, and go for the no, right? Go for the, the no more. Go for the uns, unsubscribes, guys, because you're not consistently getting them. Your follow-up, your FU is terrible, right? You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta elevate your FU. It's, it's gotta get out. Oh, I'm gonna show you one more quick one. I have a couple minutes. On the focus on the service, not the sale. Here's another thing that drives me crazy. And I literally travel to brokerages and brokerages of a lot of our clients and get in their databases and see what they're doing. And this is a fatal one. Nick, maybe you guys do this and you can raise okay. your hand. You get a new listing. You, most everybody's in a mass email or mass text, a brand new listing out to their database. All right, we do it all the time. Every freaking team does this. You guys are doing it wrong for the most part, all right? You're focusing on you. Oh, I'm gonna send this great new listing to my 29,676 leads in here. Stop <laughs> it, stop it. You know what, come in here. Go into your CRM. If the listing is, let's just say it's uh, $350,000, all right? Let's go 300,000. And again, this is a live database, go 400,000. If the listing is in, if it's in Boise, Okay, just send it to people. Tell your system, hey, who in my database between three hundred and four hundred thousand dollars in Boise are currently looking on my website? Send your new listings or those price drops, those e blasts that you're doing to the people who that might be important to. Yeah, don't I just agree. send it. So now I've got eight hundred and seventeen people. Look at this person was on twenty nine minutes ago, an hour ago, an hour ago, two hours ago, two hours ago. These are active looking in that area in that price range. Now come down, hit select all. And if you're gonna mass email them, take it a step further, right? If you got this listing, first of all, insert the, I'm just gonna make up an MLS number here, right? Insert the listing, make it easy for them, yeah. right? So we've got the link in there. And then right above it, you know where I'm gonna go, talk to them, right? You be a person, focus on the service. Now it's the video. Hey guys, Gabe Cordova here. We wanna tell you about one of our fantastic new listings uh, in, the, in the Hickory uh, neighborhood in Boise. It's gonna be coming on or it's on currently. Like make it about them and you know it's hitting the right audience. But instead, as a team, we are sending it to our entire databases. Most of those people don't care about that price range or that area, but we think we're marketing or doing whatever we need to. Make it about them. So then when people are used to seeing things, they know it's relevant, they're gonna start opening it. When you keep sending them stuff that's not relevant to them, you become one of the agents that they're ignoring. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna annoy them. So like, you know, so, 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 so far I've gone, you know, the, 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 the three, go for, it's, what's it, what do you call it? The three, go for rule three. three. Rule, rule of three. Rule of so, three. Call, call, text, video, email. Video, email. Okay, right when a lead comes in. Yeah. And the key to the video email, guys, is setting expectation to correct you, just like what you said, Nick. Yeah. You don't know what they're looking for. Go for the service, not the sale. Yeah. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, always try to, you know, always try to improve, you know, how you can help them. And then essentially don't spam them. I mean, when you have, when you have a listing or when you think there's properties coming on a specific area and you have a CRM, cause you know, chances are in whatever CRM you have, whether you have Firepoint, you have the ability to narrow down where people are looking. Right. So don't just blast out, Hey, my new listing at one, two, three main street in any town USA to 30,000 people who don't give a crap. Yep. You know, send it to those three, five, 800 people looking in that price range. Yep. So yep. be really specific and tailored to their search and talk to them, have a conversation through video. Video, um, video text or video email. Yep. It's the next best thing and it will, it'll, you'll be much more likely to get in front of them if they see your face and they see that you're trustworthy and they can look into your eyes. Yeah. Uh, and I also learned that the three magic words of a text are not I love you, it's is this good. <laughs> Is this? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yep. So rule of three, focus on the service, not the sale. And then base your follow-up on lead activity. That's critical. If you guys are getting to your database and you're looking at it, you're just like, oh, where do I start? Base it on lead activity. Reorganize that database by who's been on the most recent, 
Who's looking at the most amount of properties? Who's favoriting? If you have Ylopo, who's actually Ylopo priority alerts? What are the most recent ones? And work backwards. You're going to find it so much easier to talk to these people because they're thinking real estate. Guys, you will start seeing your conversion go up because everything that you're doing there is focused on them. It's focused on speed to lead and it's focused on working smarter, not harder. For sure, 100%. We overcome so anyway, that too much. Let's, let's tell people what Lab Coats is offering along with FirePoint if they, want to, if they want to check out FirePoint. Let's show them the landing page. Oh. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing and how we're going to be working let's on cool see. stuff. To Sorry, I stopped sharing. Let me, let me reshare again. Uh, yeah, so if you go, where is it at? Here we go, share. All right, so uh, it's just firepoint.net slash lab coat. Whoa, uh, who are those guys? Look at those handsome mugs. What the <laughs> heck? Um, so you guys can come here. Uh, there's a bunch of information. Again, um, Nick and Tristan are going to be working on, uh, on campaigns for us. Uh, we're going to put those in there so we can go over all this. You're going to have all the great tools, a lot of stuff that we've already talked about. Again, we have the Ylopo integration. Uh, but we put together some special packaging and pricing and deals. Um, check us out. Come to this. Uh, we're going to make you guys come visit to hear what the specials are and stuff just because it is pretty crazy what they put together. So we want to make sure that it's because of this webinar, it's because of LCA live coming up. So come to this website, click through. Um, all of our people are going to talk to you guys about what uh, the promos are and stuff because it's stuff we've honestly never done before. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of cool – there it is. There is a really great promo. We're going to put in some cool drip campaigns. Um, and so, uh, you know, if you haven't checked out much. we're talking lead gen, we're talking setup, we're talking the follow up campaigns. There's a ton of stuff guys come here and check it out. And the, 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 the drip campaign that I'm going to be putting in there for my, um, for my realtor.com leads, I've got, I think <clears throat> it's like a 53% response rate on those campaigns. So they're really, really, they're really good and engaging. So I'm excited to get that loaded up into the system with you guys. And yeah, we'll preload this. You're, I mean, Nick's literally building these within FirePoint, and when we load them for you guys, they're there. Use them as is. You can tweak them a little bit if you want to just put your spin on them, your flair, and make it relevant to your market a little bit. Um, but, I mean, if he's getting a 53% response, man, I wouldn't be changing him a whole lot. But, yeah, come here, uh, schedule a demo, chat with our, our team. They'll tell you all about the specials uh, so you can check it out. And then also – I mean, can we talk about LCA Live and the freaking Oh, yeah, I was going to bring that up. <clears throat> so Gabe is going to be at LCA Live. Firepoint is going to be there. They're our top sponsor, so we're super grateful to them. And Gabe's going to be on main stage giving an awesome presentation. Do you know what my presentation's titled, Nick? What? Is it, is it entitled FU? No, no. Size matters. Oh, my God. First of all, let, <laughs> let's, talk, let's talk about how Firepoint – is verging on like an X-rated. No, it's all about growing and scaling your you're business. The best you're back in the business. No, you got the best back end of the business. You 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 tell everyone to go. You tell everyone f you. I do not. Hey. I just say you have to work on your f you. Your f you. No, for the most part, sucks. So, no, I'm just teasing you. But um, so if you want to join Gabe and myself and Tristan and 39 other amazing speakers at LCA Live in San Diego on June 18th and 19th. Go to labcodeagentslive.com and you can save 20% with the code GABE, all capital letters, G-A-B-E, G-A-B-E. G-A-B-E. <laughs> Gabe 20. Gabe 20. Oh, 25 Gabe days till LCA Live. Amazing. Let's just let's just go down and see who's speaking in case and nobody really knows. Yep. So we got Billy Jean, who is an incredible video marketer. Um, and he and his video ads have been seen over 300 million times uh, for all sorts of businesses. Tessa Bella is um, a realtor who has the most incredible Instagram uh, business model I've ever seen. Travis Tom, Shaniqua Badger, Carrie Scholl, a great agent out of the D.C. area, Sam Karamian, uh, that guy Gabe, uh, Amanda Todd, Sharon Shravatsa, Zandra. I can never pronounce Zandra's last name, but her team – Already year to date has done 89 transactions and it's not, and it's, it's only May. Oh yeah. Sherry, uh, Amy. I haven't seen all these Tony. I love Tony. I mean, Tony. Travis is great, but Tony's incredible. Maria, Kevin, Mike, uh, Bernier. Mike Bernier, Mike Bjorkman, Regina Brown, yeah. Barry, Elmer. Dude, this is legit. This is legit. So, I mean, you, all of these know, places. Tammy, seven Murdoch. If you don't know seven, she's amazing. Oh, so seven is like, I don't think you think she's 21. And 
in her first year in real estate last year, she did about 20 transactions, all from doing consistent Facebook lives. Um, and so you're going to learn how to have a 100% ROI just utilizing yep. Facebook lives. Yep. Uh, Jeff Glover is going to be there. He's the number one agent in Michigan. Um, Tammy Edwards, she works with Mike Bjorkman. Joe Mazio is my father-in-law, and I just want to tell you why Joe's there. So Joe was um, an executive at General Motors for 35 years, and he speaks on leadership, and he's incredible. And he was there last year, and, and we had some of the highest like rated feedback on Joe's presentation, so he's going to be coming back. Kyle Whistle, Noel Nielsen, Michael Hellickson, yep. you know, all these all these amazing people that you're going to be able to you know rub elbows with and, and get and get some amazing content. It's, so I mean, we did this last year. It was incredible. I mean, first of all, the venue you guys picked is beautiful, right on the beach, San Diego. I mean, that lineup two days like this is going to be jam packed. I would come with an empty brain because it's going to be overflowing when you leave. But I, I, I'm excited. I mean, I live on the road doing these. And guys, I have not seen a lineup like this at an event probably ever. I mean, this is sick, the people and, that you and, guys And the agenda up. will be up by the end of the week <clears throat> with, um, with, uh, with uh, you know, all the, all the session topics. But kicking off the morning is our social media and technology session in general session. Uh, so it's going to be myself and Tristan talking about how we're leveraging for sale by owners and FISBOs using Facebook retargeting. Um, it's going to be Tessa Bella Jelton talking about her uh, Instagram um, business plan. It's going to be uh, Scott Shapiro from Facebook coming nice. and talking about the cool things that Facebook's rolling out over the next year or so to help real estate agents improve their business. And then Gabe is going to round out the morning talking about how much, how size matters. I don't even know where we're going with that. <laughs> Come on. It's all about, I mean, it's all about growing and scaling your real estate business from Perfect. single agent to the team. We're talking lead gen, follow-up plans, all that stuff. I'm excited for that, dude. I'm excited for that. So anyway, <clears throat> get 20% off LCA live with co promo code Gabe20, and we'll see you in- yep. um, Quick you question, uh, website, guys. Somebody asked. Uh, it's firepoint.net slash lab coat, slash lab coat. It's right at the top of the post of this video. So it's right there. Um, all right, Gabe, listen, this has been amazing. I love it. And if you want to re rewatch this, it's going to be replayed on lab code agents yep. all throughout the day. And it'll really give you some, some really great tips on how to, how to really get that speed to lead and bring the service as opposed to the sale and uh, just connect with the client through Absolutely. video. And it's just, I love it. Great stuff. Yep, just a tip guys. Awesome. Nick, I'm looking forward to seeing you just in a gosh, less than a month now. Holy cow. 25 days, man. Let's do it. We're excited. We're excited. I love it. Uh, awesome guys. Thanks man. Have a great day, Gabe. You too. Take care. Yeah. Bye.